Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and it's nice to have you guys here. Today is kind of a haul, but not really a haul, because they're kind of birthday gifts, but most of them I bought for myself, so is it really a birthday gift? Anyway, I don't want to call it a birthday haul, because that, that sounds a bit crass. <laughs> but most of these are gifts that I gave to myself. So, it was my birthday on February the 24th. I turned 36, so, which I'm kind of excited about. I think I was talking about that in my recap video. And I didn't have a whole lot planned. My family took me out to dinner and on Saturday. There will also have been a vlog that went up just before this video that is kind of my whole birthday week. Anyway, um, I did pick up some nice gifts for myself and if you were watching the vlog you will have seen on Friday on my birthday I did go to the mall and um, I did a little bit of shopping <laughs> um, and also went to see a movie and it was a really nice day and then on Saturday I went out to dinner with my family and my mom got me a few really lovely little gifts and then um, there were also some things I picked up earlier in the month so I'm just gonna dive right in the first two things that kind of kicked it all off were a week or so before my birthday I had a facial and I picked up some products from my esthetician that I'd been wanting to try. I'd had like a sample size of this one which is the Facial Recovery Oil by Eminence and I am in love. It feels so good. I will do a full review. This will probably end up in a monthly favorites at some point. I just like to use skincare for at least a full month before I make definitive claims, but so far I'm loving this. And then the other thing I picked up, also by Eminence, which those who have been watching for a long time know that I am obsessed with the Eminence organic skincare line from Hungary. It's just the best skincare ever in my opinion. And so I picked up the Apricot Body Oil and this stuff, I wish we had smell -a vision I really wish we do because this smells like fresh apricots. Love it, it's amazing. On Thursday I went out to lunch with Taylor and spent the afternoon with her and she gave me a very lovely and sparkly birthday card. I had glitter all over my hands for the entire afternoon. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. And then after lunch we went shopping and we popped into Sephora. So I picked up a few things. Two of them I've already started using and playing with. So I got these two concealers from the Sephora collection. So they were $14 each. So this one is the Bright Future uh, Color Correctors and this is in the yellow shade 02. And they've got the really nice doe foot applicator. I find that yellow actually works really well on my dark circles, almost a little bit better than like peachy toned ones do. So um, I'm giving this a try. I have used both of these twice already. I also got the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This is in shade 01 Bavarian Cream, so really pale. And I find that with both of these a little goes a long way. The first night I used way too much of this had to like dab a lot of it off and I used way too much of this in the under eye area. Today I used a little bit better amount <laughs> but I still feel like I could use a little bit less so a little goes a long way so I'm first impressions are good but I'm still playing with those. And then I also picked up my birthday gift. The current birthday gifts, there's a skincare gift from Caudalie, and then there's a cosmetic uh, gift from Tarte. Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party, and a Tartist Creamy Matte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. So I thought both of those would be fun to play with. So that's what the blush looks like. Um, just kind of a nice kind of brownie, pinky color. And what I like about this one is there's really no shimmer to it. It's just a nice matte blush. That will come in handy. And then this is the little mini lip paint. And then that's the lip paint. So we'll see. It's it, We'll see how it looks on me and we'll see how it feels. But I do, I do like the look of it. So that is what I picked up at Sephora. And then my mom... I'll show you the few little bits that she got me. Uh, two of them were picked up on past trips to London. So she got me, I love tea towels and I collect tea towels, so she got me this Kensington Palace tea towel that's got Kensington embroidered in a really beautifully on the front. So that's lovely. 
And then she got me this really pretty ornament of a crown. So I'm not sure where I'm going to hang that, but it's definitely... The Christmas decorations have been put away already, so this is just staying out all year round. And then the last thing she got me, because my mother knows me so well, this little Union Jack teapot spoon rest tea bag holder. So love that. And then I'm going to save Ted Baker and Swarovski for the last. So we'll shift to DSW. So I ordered five things from DSW, but disclaimer, I I kind of paid for them, but not really because I use reward points. So obviously I did spend money at some point to earn those reward points. <laughs> but in terms of what I spent just now was only $30. Everything else, I cashed in $120 worth of reward points because I've been banking them for so long. And then I had 10 points or $10 for my birthday. So that really helped. I got two pairs of shoes. One is a pair of Adidas Neos, and I got them in this really beautiful blush pink. I love this. And then it also comes with both matching pink or white laces, so I thought those were cute. I was trying to look for shoes that could go into spring and summer, because we are done with winter. It's 60 something today but like the end of the 10 day forecast is like 78 79 80 degrees so spring I, th I think this was our last bit of a cool reprieve and now we're about to get hot so no more boot weather but cute trainers like this for sure and then also um some bright fun loafers they call this red i think it's more of an orangey red but I thought these were great. And then I also got this really pretty brooch. I just thought that was beautiful. And I don't really have anything quite like that. And I've noticed that like brooches are coming back in a bit. So, but yeah, I just thought that was really pretty and I really liked it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to finding ways of styling that. And then I got two hats. One that we'll probably be wearing at some point this week. And that is this ball cap that says bad hair day. I, as soon as I saw this, was like, I have to get that. I need that hat. Part of fibromyalgia means that taking a shower and washing my hair takes a lot of energy. A lot of energy. So I have a lot of bad hair days because sometimes I just don't have the energy to wash my hair. So I thought this would be really great for those days. And the gray will go with a lot of different stuff. So yeah my new bad hair day hat. I think every girl needs one of these. And then also for the summer, I got this straw hat, little straw sun hat that I really like. And on the back, it says, don't bother me. <laughs> and I'd seen these on Instagram from some really expensive brands last summer, and there was no way I could afford those. But this was $26 from from DSW, so I thought that was super cute. They had a few other um, styles in black and in white, and each of the colors had a different saying. I think one of them said out of office, and then the other said something else I can't remember. And it's really nice because it's embroidered on, um, so it's not like an applique that's glued on or anything. This is It's part of the hat. Really nice, really liked that. And then moving on to, we'll do Swarovski next. So I'm wearing one, and that's this bracelet, which is a wraparound bracelet. So it's a long piece that you wrap around your wrist, and then it's got two snaps, depending on the size that you need. And then the snaps also have like a gem crystal over them, so they're not plain straps or plain snaps. And then you've just got the different colors of crystals, which is really beautiful. I love Swarovski. Their crystals sparkle like nothing else. So if you're watching the vlogs, you will have seen me wear this to lunch on Sunday because I just fell instantly in love with it. But this was actually a free gift uh, for my birthday. And then I also got this Active Crystals 8 gig USB thumb drive as a, as a birthday gift as well, which was really nice and very kind of the girls at the 
Swarovski at Fashion Square. If you are in the Phoenix Valley area, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Swarovski Boutique at Scottsdale Fashion Square. I have always had amazing customer service there, and then it was a really lovely surprise because when I went this time, it turns out that a friend of mine works there. So it was nice to see her, and she and the other girl working there that day were super nice and very friendly and helpful, and helped me pick out the main gift that I went in to buy. I knew I wanted to buy myself a new piece of jewelry. I like Swarovski, and their jewelry is very nice, but they've got some really affordable pieces. So I picked this one up. This was $69, I believe. It's just this little uh, rhodium plated ring with um, a butterfly and crystals. I just thought that was really cute, very pretty, really pretty for spring and summer coming up. I just loved how that looked. It's very delicate and dainty. I love that. So that was the main thing that I went in to buy, and then as I was checking out, they gave me the birthday gifts as well, which was very nice and very generous of them. Then after Swarovski, I went to see the movie, and then on my way out, because the movie's on the top floor, and then I had to pass by Ted Baker to go down to my car, so I stopped into Ted Baker and got myself a couple things. I intended on just getting the one, um, and then I found the other thing at the register. So I went in thinking I wanted a new cell phone case, because the case that I have is nice, but it's starting to kind of change color, and it's like peeling a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but that was just a cheap $15 case from Amazon, so not that surprising. So I went in and I bought myself a cell phone case. So it looks like this. It's a portfolio case, so it opens up like that, your phone goes in there, you've got a mirror on this side. I have a case similar to this, just a different print that I've purchased before and I really love that one, but that's more of a wintry print, so I wanted one that was more of like a spring summer print and I just love this. It's a really unique looking print and I love it. And then the last thing I got, I picked up a bottle of perfume from Ted Baker and this is the Polly perfume, which I have fallen in love with. If you watched the London Hall videos, you'll remember um, in the Ted Baker Hall, I showed that I'd bought these little like Christmas bauble little cardboard things that had gifts inside. They had a uh, nail polish and a perfume, and Polly was one of the perfumes. And I have fallen absolutely in love with it. So this is the bottle. Really cute. It's got a little jewel on top, and I just absolutely love love this scent. Um, I've been wearing it almost constantly. I'm already like halfway through that little bottle <laughs> that I picked up in London. So when I saw that they had this in stock, I snapped it up. And there go the sprinklers outside. That's what you guys can probably hear. And yeah, I just, I was really glad to find it because it's actually not that bad of a price. It's $29 for the full size bottle. And then the other thing that I love about Ted Baker is they do student discounts. So I got 20% off the perfume and the cell phone case. Not too bad when you are treating yourself to something for your birthday. When it's your birthday, you have to treat yourself, right? Right? Okay, so that's that's all of the birthday gifts. Oh, my aunt also very graciously gave me an Amazon gift card, which always comes in handy. And yeah, very grateful for that. So I was definitely spoiled by my family because they also treated me to dinner at El Choro, which is a really beautiful restaurant in Paradise Valley. So that was a ton of fun and so delicious. So I've been spoiled by my family and my friends, and then I spoiled myself even more because that's what you do <laughs> if you like the video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and say hello subscribe if you're not subscribed I'd love to have you join this family uh, that we've got going here and yeah I will see you all soon in the next video thank you very much for watching bye, -bye.